myself giridhar jain assistant professor in electronics and telecommunication engineering walchand institute of technology solapur today i am going to deliver a lecture on dynamic cmos logic now learning outcomes of this session are at the end of this session students will be able to design logic circuits using dynamic cmos logic contents of the lecture are basic principle of dynamic cmos logic dynamic gates properties of dynamic gates and power consumption in a static cmos logic circuits at every point in the time the output is connected either to ground or vdd via low resistance path fan in of the uh, yen requires the two end devices in the static circuits while as what is a dynamic uh, logic so dynamic circuit basically uh, works on the principle of temporary storage of the signal values on the uh, capacitance of the high impedance nodes and it require only n plus 2 transistors for the yen inputs and it has the sequence of the precharge and the evaluation phase now this figure shows the basic principle of the dynamic logic so in the dynamic logic so mp is a precharge transistor and this me is the evaluation transistor and this uh, mp and me are driven by the clock so for the gate we apply the clock as shown in figure and uh, from the uh, drain of this uh, pmos here you can see this is a pull down network and these are the inputs and output is taken here and this cl is the internal capacitance or equivalent capacitance and this is the output now when clock is zero the precharge phase will take place and when clock is one the evaluation phase will take place so here one pull down network is considered where uh, this two nmos are in series and uh, for that connection this uh, nmos comes in parallel with that now let us see how this circuit works so in the precharge when clock is zero this uh, precharge transistor is on and this uh, uh, capacitance is charged to vdd so this is a precharge phase so during the precharge phase that is clock equal to zero the load capacitance which is the internal equivalent capacitance so that will be charged to vdd as shown in figure now in the evaluation phase uh, when clock becomes 1 the pmos will become off and this nmos will become on and the output is evaluated now for this particular circuit shown the output is a and b and whatever we get it is or with c and take complement of that because this is a pull down network okay so a and b or c and complement of that so that is the output now conditions on the output now once the output of dynamic gate is discharged it cannot be charged again until the next precharge this is first condition second condition input to the gate can make at the most one transition during the evaluation phase output can be in the high impedance state during and after the evaluation state is stored on the cl now pause this video and think on the following question what are the properties of the dynamic gates now properties of the dynamic gates 
now logic function is implemented by a pull down network only and therefore uh, number of transistors required are n plus 2 as compared to 2n for the static complementary CMOS. Hence number of devices are reduced and therefore it should be a smaller in area than the complementary CMOS. Then second property is the voltage swing. So full voltage swing is available. So FIVO L is uh, 0 and FIVO H is uh, logic 1 that is VDD. Therefore full voltage swing is available. Now next property is the non ratio means the sizing of the devices is not important for the circuit. So it is a ratio less or non ratio. Now next property is the faster switching speeds. Now reduced load capacitance uh, due to uh, lower number of the transistors per gate. Then reduced load capacitance due to smaller uh, fan out. Now ignoring the influence of the precharge time on the switching speed of the gate, so TPLH equal to 0, but the presence of evolution transistor slows the TPHL. So for the discharge path that the evolution transistor comes in series uh, that will affect the TPHL. Now next property is uh, power dissipation should be better because only the dynamic it consumes only the dynamic power no short circuit power uh, since the pull up path is not on during the evaluation phase by construction can have at the most one uh, transition per cycle but power dissipation can be significantly higher due to higher transmission probabilities and extra load on the clock. Now pull down network starts to work as soon as the input signal exceeds the VTN so set uh, VM that is the switching threshold. So VIH and the VIL are equal to VTN. So uh, drawback is the noise margin is low. It needs a precharge clock. Now let us take the example of the four input uh, NAND gate using this uh, dynamic logic. So this is four input NAND gate and let us observe the uh, waveforms. Now input and the clock are changing from 0 to 1 here. Now when input and clock are changing from 0 to 1, the output changes from uh, 1 to 0 as shown here. And uh, here what is happening, whenever output is changing from 1 to 0 in the evaluation phase, the uh, this output which is stored by the load capacitance CL so that will discharge through this uh, 5 number of the N MOS. So these are the 4 and this is the evaluation uh, MOSFET and therefore you can see here discharge uh, time is more right. So VOH is uh, 2.5 because here in this uh, example VDD is uh, 2.5, VOL is 0, uh, switching threshold is VTN, uh, NMH is 2.5 minus VTN, NML is VTN, uh, TPHL 110 pico picosecond, TPLH is uh, 0 and this is TPRE. Now gate parameters are time independent as shown uh, by this uh, waveform, right. Now these waveforms are shown for the different uh, values of the VG, so VG is the input glitch. Now as we change the input glitch, right, so this uh, voltage V, how it is V out is changing, so that is shown. 
Now next point is the power consumption of the dynamic gate. So power is only dissipated when the uh, previous output is zero. When previous output is zero, then only the precharge consume the power. Now dynamic power consumption is a data dependent. So this is the two input uh, NOR gate. So from this two table of the two input NOR gate, you can see that probability of A is equal to 1 is 1 by 2. Probability of B is equal to 1 is 1 by 2. Then output precharge to 1. Then the transition probability of P is equal to 0 to 1 is this is 3 by 4 into 1, 3 by 4. And the static uh, NOR gate probability of uh, changing 0 to 1 is uh, 3 by 16. And how it is obtained? So P out 0 and P out 1. So P out 0 is uh, 3 by 4 from the truth table and P out 1 is 1 by 4. So if you take product it is coming as a 3 by 16. So in this way we can prove that the dynamic power consumption is a data dependent. Now these are uh, references. Uh, thank you for watching the video.